Well, thanks again to Amanda and to James for leading such a valuable session on the federal grant making process. We gave you all a really quick tutorial. So let's just do a little summary, okay? So we started out talking about the appropriations process, right? That's the amount of money that the Congress puts into these individual programs. Now, for those of you that do place-based work and you have a relationship with your member of Congress or with your senator, those individuals have the opportunity to do congressionally directed spending, that's what they call it in the Senate, or community project funding, that's what we call it in the House. Those used to be called earmarks, okay? And so if you have a good relationship with those individuals, you can kind of bypass some of what Amanda and James just described to you and get that request written in to the legislation. Do you all see what we're putting out here? Okay, so there's ways to do this. Now, as we heard from our friends on the committee, in the House, this Congress, the Republican majority has elected not to do the health care specific projects here in the House. But in the Senate, they can. So if you are eligible for some of these HRSA programs and you do place-based work and you have a relationship with your senator, be thinking about a project that you could submit to that Senate office for next spring. Do you all see what I'm saying here? So we can do a both and approach to make sure that we're what? Getting this money. Okay. The second thing that we heard from our friends at HRSA, and they presented how to find information for their agency. But CDC, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, also gets a lot of federal funding to end maternal mortality. Right? There's other agencies. We funded the VA now. They weren't here today, but the Veterans Administration, the first omnibus bill that was signed into law is for the VA. They have money. Federal agencies all have a similar process. HRSA gave you the playbook, but you can rinse and repeat all across the federal government. And we're here to help you if you all have questions, okay? So take what you heard today, synthesize it, and then be in touch with our team. We know that these dollars can go a long way in helping organizations carry out the critically important work they do to support moms and it's a reminder of why passing the Momnibus is such an urgent issue. With the historic funding that the Momnibus will make available, we'd be able to support community-based organizations and scale the evidence-based programs that you all do every day in order to ensure the needs of every mom are met in every community across the United States. Now, coming out of today's summit, I am so inspired by what's possible. The conversations that we've had today show that there's a real pathway to passing the entire Momnibus through the Congress. There are opportunities to improve care and expand perinatal support through the executive branch, through the private sector, and of course in local communities. We know what to do, and now's the time for all of us to make the choice to do it. So I'd like to once again thank all of you for making the choice to come today <laughs> and being so committed to this mission. I'd like to thank my colleagues in Congress who joined us virtually, our friends in the Biden-Harris administration and the Department of Health and Human Services who shared their expertise and guidance, all the leaders of community-based organizations and advocacy groups, and the private sector maternal health champions who are with us for today's summit. Now, I also want to do a special subset of staff thank yous. Um, you all know that we've been on quite the journey with the Black Maternal Health Caucus since we founded it in 2019. <clears throat> Earlier this year, uh, our original chief of staff left our office, Andrea Harris. She's here today. I just wanted to give a public thank you to Andrea uh, for your many years of dedicated work on behalf of the Black Maternal Health Caucus. I'd also like to thank uh, Jack, Jack DiMatteo, who is leaving us soon. Jack, none, I mean, you all know this because you know him well, um, but this would not have happened without his leadership, his dedication, and his vision. Not just the summit today, <laughs> not just the momnibus, uh, but so much of the work that we do in the Black Maternal Health Caucus. So thank you, Jack. Um, and you heard from Brittany all day. She's been emceeing and doing a great job. Brittany Hughes, she's our legislative director in the office. Where'd she go? Oh, right here, Brittany's here. Um, and then I just want you all, since you're all here, to meet our new chief of staff in the office, Carolyn Paris Baird. Do you want to just come and give a wave, Carolyn? Thank you. I know at least earlier today, Congresswoman Adam Staff was here. Are you still here in the room? Yes. Okay, so Congresswoman Adam Staff, 
incredible partners in the work. Thank you for being here and for your great leadership. Uh, we love Congresswoman Adams and couldn't do this without her. Um, and then all the rest of the team, the staff, uh, thank you for doing the work to make today possible. Uh, the breadth and the voices of perspectives featured in this event reflect the comprehensive approach that we know we need to tackle our nation's maternal health crisis. Without bold action from Congress, the White House, public and private sector leaders, and community-based groups, we won't be able to reverse the alarming increases in maternal mortality rates or the long-standing disparities that we see in outcomes. But together, we can solve the problem. We can save lives, and we can do more to prevent moms from dying. We can ensure that pregnancy and childbirth is not a time of fear or danger, but the experience of joy and wonder that every family deserves. And that should not be a privilege of the few, but the right of everyone giving birth in America. So thank you so much for sharing values and doing this work. Uh, thank you again for being part of today's summit. I can't wait till next year. This has just been so fun. I'm like, let's just do it again. Um, so thank you. Now, Brittany's going to be back with some final instructions for uh, the photo line and some networking opportunities. And I'm looking forward to saying hello and thanking each of you personally. So please don't skip over that part. We want to see you and visit. OK, thanks again, everybody. Appreciate you.